Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We're rocking and rolling. Tesla with a meteoric rise. Can we call it that? Uh, nothing but just a, a gap and go day. I don't know if you... Uh, hang on, let me set an alert. Did you catch that? Did you buy that dip at the... See that little wick down? What, what is it? What's this about? We dropped down, tagged this zone a couple times, jumped back up. I don't know if anybody caught that. Who knows? It's just funny. Uh, but... We saw it really kind of base out. Uh, the rest of the market took a took a dive. Tesla just went up. You know, the market ended the day green. Tesla just went up. Uh, just a nice just gap and go day. Uh, almost quite made it to that zone. If you're part of the Patreon or my midship group, then you guys know we bought Tesla this morning. Uh, and and oddly enough, uh, I woke up to questions in the midship group of, hey, are we selling two standard deviations out? Uh, which Tesla was 1222. So let's go. Let's just get that out of here. Let's get, 1222 wow we went right to two standard deviations today uh what's that 27282 uh hang on there we go 27282 let's just grab the third one what's that post that 1222 Come on. Oh my gosh. I just want that thing to stay up there. That, that's all I want. You see that thing blocking me at the top? 1222. All right. 285.25. There we go. Close enough. One penny off. Three standard deviations. I actually went this morning. I was thinking, like, you know what? Maybe I should sell. So before I clicked the buy button, I was thinking, should I sell some 280, 285 spreads? It's like, nah, Tesla's been on a rise. Uh, and I've been kind of bearish this market. I think a lot of people have been bearish this market. Uh, but the we're running out of time. If we're not sending this thing short, you know, it, the, the buyers are stepping in. Uh, so I didn't want to get in front of this. Ultimately, I made the decision to buy. It turned out to be all right. The two things I bought this morning, if you're part of the, again, the Patreon, even the $5 tier one, you saw we bought Patreon uh, and Tesla. Patreon, Palantir, Palantir and Tesla sent it. Anyway, Tesla, we got news. Pretty big news, actually. So Morgan Stanley sees the dojo boosting Tesla's value by $500 billion. All of a sudden, it's not a car company anymore. Well, that's weird. Uh, so anyway, we're, we're talking about this now. As the analyst sees potential for underappreciated value in stock. Maybe they'll quit comparing it to Toyota. Please stop. Uh, and, and Strongman Finance... What do you guys say about this? Where are you at? I'm sure he's got a video making fun of Tesla right now. Uh, anyway, so if a lot of other investors come pouring into this, that's a lot of extra capital that could come into Tesla. If you guys think joining the S&P was a, uh, an awesome ride, wait till everybody figures out it's not just a car company anymore and they start buying, hey, that pipeline, things are coming to fruition. Things could get weird fast. We need to get in Tesla. Uh, and things could rise a lot. Now, they raised their price target to 400 bucks. That's cool. That's probably 12 months out. I didn't even read that part. Uh, but I wanted to make this talking about how Tesla, day one, Monday, we're at one standard deviation. Uh, the pitchforks and torches are out uh, as far as that, that Tesla cult following. So I would be careful shorting this, even though I love to, sh to sell out of the money options. Uh, this one, I, I would just steer away from, you know. We bought Palantir. We sold the uh, the 1650. Uh, so that was right here in the zone. So we bought this. We already had shares. We added some more. We sold the 1650 calls, collected some money there. Uh, so hopefully that expires worthless and we kind of stay range bound. I'm going to pick some more up down here. Anyway, uh, the video mainly about Tesla. I just want to talk about that. And I'm sure you guys have already heard everybody's talking about it. Uh, so that was probably contribute to a lot of the uh, that, that current catalyst we had today. Remember, price upgrades and downgrades, they're pretty much like a, a daily thing. Tomorrow we will have already forgotten about it um, unless everybody wants to soak it all in and buy some more. You know, take it day by day. Uh, that being said... Looking at Tesla bullish, uh, like you saw in the, in the in the group today when I posted the buy, I'm gonna just start accumulating more shares into this. So I don't plan on trading this with with a stop. Uh, I plan on building a position. We're gonna start selling some calls against it. Hopefully not for the next decade. Uh, but anyway, um, I'll wrap it up here. I'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, we're rocking and rolling with Tesla. Uh, it looks like any red candles is gonna be the dip buy. And if we don't start selling off this week. I got to say, I don't really care for shorting anything in the market anymore because I'm going to start uh, prepping, buying things with time, even as a trader, probably December time, uh, and start buying the dip on a lot of things because time is a very, 
a very important part of this, right? Things go up and down, but then there's a the scale of left to right. Uh, and we were supposed to pull back. Or, uh, people say you're supposed to. Uh, you know, the the ball was in the bear's court. We didn't really get anywhere. So, in the essence, like I say all the time, things pull over or they pull back. This just pulled over, so it's time. The Bulls, looks like they might just be catching their breath for the next leg up. So, I would be careful with the uh, just the bearish outlook until eternity. Because uh, right now, we just keep seeing more and more buyers. When there's more green candles than red, maybe we don't fight that trend and we just uh, join it. Anyway, I'll wrap it up here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are curious about this, as long as that Teachable link is down below, it is still going on. I am excited to say we got our, our first piece of, of uh, well, I'm, anyway, I'm partnering with the new with the new group. We got our first piece of, like advertisement and, and all that, like drawn out, sketched out, it's in legal review. So we're doing all that. Uh, that's when the Teachable link does go away because it'll be my own website, my own home for everything. Uh, and that's what you've been hearing me talk about because prices, well, they're in charge of it. They think I've been undercharging for a long time by quite a bit. So if you do want that, that's a teachable link down below. That is lifetime. Uh, if you want to lock that in, that's that. There is no expiring coupon code. It's just when it goes away, it kind of goes away. You're on to the new process now. Anyway, wrap it up here. You will see me live tomorrow. Have a good one.